No, I do not just use DWM to make my videos look cool. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit today about uh, why I use DWM and more generally a tiling window manager uh, and how that can benefit you if you are somebody who uh, is doing work on your computer. Uh, and I say that very generally because really anybody who has multiple windows open could benefit from something like a tiling window manager. Uh, so I'm just gonna walk you through uh, navigating around in DWM a little bit uh, if you are completely new to the world of window management. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go through some points about how it's really helpful to get, getting your work done quickly, efficiently, and being organized. All right, so just jumping into it here. Um, you can see right now my windows are tiled cleanly. They are not overlapping, they're not on top of each other. If I open up a new window here, it's just going to tile with the others. You know, they're all nicely organized here. I can go between these windows just with keybinds. I don't need to pick up my hand and move it to the mouse to go to other windows. Um, let me go back to this window here, you know, I can just, uh, switch that with another window if I wanted to, you know, I can make this matrix screensaver the main window here, um, and I can send this window, and if you, if you see up here, there's a uh, number one, that means I am on the first tag, and you can think of tags a little bit like workspaces, uh, so if I went to the, the second tag here, right, I don't have anything on it, I could just, you know, go ahead, open up NVIM here, uh, and, and then if I go back to tag number one here, I can just go to this window that I'd opened and send it over to tag number two. And now if I go to tag number two, well, those windows are cleanly tiled there. Uh, now I'm not forced to be in uh, a tiling mode, and this is actually why DWM uh, is so nice. DWM actually just stands for Dynamic Window Manager, and that means it supports both tiling and floating. Uh, so floating is just if you are coming from, you know, Windows, Mac, or even something like KDE or GNOME, that's probably what you're used to. Um, so if I make this into floating mode real quick, these windows are just now, they're floating around. This is, you know, you're probably used to seeing something like this. You know, I can just resize these if I wanted to. I can move them around. I can open another window and just, they're all on top of each other. And now the beauty of having tiling uh, is that I can just go ahead and tile these back together. And now they are all cleanly tiled. Uh, and I can also change how they are tiled. So if I go back to this first tag here, uh, I could change it to a bottom stack mode. So the main window is on the top and I can change how big the window is as well. Uh, I could also change it into a spiraling mode. Uh, and so now if I open another window, you'll see the biggest window is gonna be the most uh, recently opened window. And then the smallest one is the least recently opened. And we're just spiraling here. Uh, and, you know, I can just change this back into normal tiling mode, and then it's just going to have that main window here, and then the other windows on the other side, and uh, something great about DWM is that I can patch in different modes, uh, so if it, I, I don't remember all the modes it comes with by default, it's quite a few, uh, but if I wanted to, I could just add a patch for a different kind of mode, uh, and so, yeah, so just talking a little bit about workflow and why uh, having these tiling windows and tags is so important. So, um, and I'm just, I'm just going to quit out of these extra terminals here because I, I don't need them. Um, but if you have ever been uh, in a situation where you're editing a bunch of documents at once, right? Uh, and especially if you're like, say on Windows and you have a bunch of spreadsheets open and, you know, it's probably Excel or, or whatever. And all the windows, all the spreadsheets, they all look the same, right? And if you're just alt tabbing through your windows, uh, and you're trying to find, you know, a number on a specific spreadsheet, you need to get to that spreadsheet, uh, it, it's going to take you forever, right? Because they all look the same. You're probably going to go past the one you needed before you even realize you did. Uh, and something great about having tags here, right? If I go to tag number nine, and I'll just open another end boom here, and say I need to be referencing this, you know, every so often, and then I'm doing my main work here on, on tag number one, you know, and I can, I can switch around the order these windows are in if I wanted to. Um, and, you know, I could reference something quickly here on tag number two, then I can go back uh, to tag number one. I could even make a window sticky if I wanted to. So if I go over to, uh, I don't know, I'll just go to this, uh, this config here, I'll make this sticky. And now if I go to tag number two, uh, that config is going to follow me there to tag number two. I can make that the main window here on tag number two if I wanted to. I could go to tag number three, it'll be there. Tag number nine, it'll be there. And now if I unsticky it, that's just going to head back right to where it started on tag number one. So that's something really nice about having this tiling and tagging system. Um, so just, yeah, keeping you organized and 
allowing you to bridge the gap between a thought and an action. So when you, you know, think I need to find this number on this spreadsheet, you can immediately remember, oh yeah, I had that spreadsheet in like, I don't know, tag number nine. I can go get that number, head right back over to tag number one with just one key press, enter that number into, you know, another spreadsheet. And there you go. And the, the other really nice thing about tiling, uh, and this is literally a situation I've been in, uh, if you're trying to edit in two uh, documents at once and you want them side by side because you're needing to reference, you know, stuff in both of them, right? And you're, you know, cross editing between them. You want them to be like the same width uh, and you want them to be the same size just so that you can work on both, right? And uh, I was literally in this situation and spent probably a minute on Windows trying to resize uh, my two document windows to be like the same size and, and make sure they were, you know, same width, same scale. And, you know, with a, t a tiling window manager here, it just, it just does that, right? That is just how it works. Um, and then I, I do have one final point I want to hit on, which is customization. Um, so for example, if I just open my browser here, right, I have that uh, hotkey to a shortcut, right? I don't have to open up the menu and start typing, you know, Liberwolf, because yes, even if that takes an extra second, if I'm doing that however many times per day, if, if you know, my job involves opening multiple windows, um, I mean, not, you know, just opening the windows as the job, but, you know, having to have a bunch of windows open, uh, it's going to save me so much time to have everything that I'm regularly using uh, set up with shortcuts, also not having to pick up my hand and move it to the mouse. Uh, even if, you know, it takes only a few milliseconds to move my hand to the mouse, well, every time I need to switch windows or tags, I'm doing that, that adds up over time. That really does add up. Uh, and just speaking from experience from having a job where I had to have like 10 windows open at once to reference, you know, data on different things and go back and enter it into something else, right? And I'm sure, you know, if you are watching this video, you probably know what I'm talking about in terms of having way too many windows open and like having to go reference other windows and just, it just takes way too long, right? And you could not have it take so long. Uh, anyways, so just opening a suckless.org here, I'm just gonna go over to DWM and uh, I just wanted to talk about quickly. So I, I could just install DWM uh, from the Arch repositories if I wanted. Uh, I could just go yay DWM and well, I do have DWM down here. I could just install that directly if I wanted to. However, I would highly recommend uh, configuring it, patching it yourself and then compiling it uh, just because DWM being such a bare program but with patches uh, is really nice. And you can see there's a lot of patches here. Uh, I could get all sorts of different stuff, you know, uh, and each of these is gonna have like a little bit of an explanation of how they work, right? Uh, and then it's gonna tell you, the, it's gonna give you the diff file here and you could go patch in that diff file. And I am gonna make a separate video about patching and compiling if you don't already know how to do that since uh, you, if, I'm sure if you don't know how tiling window managers work, you probably don't know about patching, so. Don't worry, I am going to make a video about that. Uh, however, just looking at this config really quickly right now. Uh, so first of all, it's only 116 lines. So if you have absolutely never touched a config in your life, I guarantee you, you can still understand and get through this config and change what you need to change. So just like basic stuff here, right? And it's super well commented. So like this line here saying, all right, top bar. And if I set to zero, it means bottom bar, right? It's it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, there's fonts, there's going to be colors, uh, where those colors are, right? All sorts of basic stuff. And also I did just download it. Uh, I downloaded a fresh config here, um, just because I have lots of patches and configuration in my config. So I didn't want to like make it confusing by showing you like my patched config and it's not what you see when you download a fresh one, you know? Uh, anyways, and, and I just wanted to show as well here, we have all sorts of shortcuts. I can literally set whatever shortcuts I need with my mod key. And de by default, your mod key is probably going to be either your Windows key or, you know, you could make it uh, control if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so being able to do all of this customization and also just building a system from the ground up. So like, for example, I'm using, you know, for my status bar here, I'm using uh, DWM blocks, but I could be using polybar. I could be using anything else that I wanted. Uh, and having that ability to build it from the ground up really forces you to think about what is actually going to work best for me and my workflow uh, and the customization I need. Because if you're just like going straight into something like GNOME and you're just using what it gives you, right? 
you're not going to be sitting there and actually thinking through, all right, well, is this application really the fastest for getting my work done here? Or, you know, and, and if I am just on a bare bones system like DWM, where I have to install everything myself, um, I'm actually going to be making those conscious choices instead of just taking, you know, essentially somebody else's system and taking, you know, uh, whoever made GNOME, uh, the programmers that worked on that, just instead of just taking their system, I'm actually making my system here and, you know, tailoring it to my needs in terms of workflow, productivity, uh, you know, however I'm going to work the fastest, I can set that up for me, right? Anyways, so um, that was just a little bit of an introduction here. Uh, if you have never used a tiling window manager before or just don't have any experience with window management, I uh, hope you learned a little bit about that. And uh, like I said, I will be making some follow-up guides on uh, configuring, uh, patching, and compiling DWM, uh, as well as other suckless programs, of course. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace!